Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercard episode 189. In today's episode, we have actually got some gameplay compared to the last episode and less, you know, getting rewards and those kind of things. So a bit different than uh, last episode, but yeah, we are going to play uh, a couple games of Battleground. Well, we'll play, actually I think I'll leave it at this, because Battleground's not too interesting to play. They're just like mm, exhibition matches, really, or... Um, yeah, it's, it's not, they're not very interesting. Let's get our picks here. I am due for a reset quite soon, so who knows? <laughs> what the fuck? How did that just happen? What the fuck? There's no way. Oh, that is the, the funniest coincidence ever. There, we just got Shinsuke Nakamura. No, doesn't help me in the slightest. Would have loved to get a female, but... <laughs> What? That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Okay. S literally, I'm like, yeah, I'm due for a pull as well. I never normally mention it, but I have definitely been quite close to it. I mean, I've played a lot of games since I got that, Sasha. So, yeah, it came. It came really sooner than I thought. The second I mentioned it, that is pretty funny. That's actually really awesome. Uh, anyway, let's get into some ring domination. And we've also got uh, this to show you guys at the end. Well maybe at the end of this episode, maybe next episode. Probably next episode, I don't know what I'm doing, there we go. Combinable, let's have a quick check how this John Cena's doing. Ain't that just beautiful, so it's a pro, we're gonna, we're gonna pro John Cena as well. That's what we're gonna do. Power Charisma. Is his speed actually better than his toughness? Okay, um... How do we want to token this guy? How do we want to token him? I mean, speed. speed. How is his speed better? That just doesn't make sense. Just doesn't make sense. Alright, go power charisma and then let's see what we did with this other John Cena before we do anything, huh? Yeah, alright, we put the three in, in speed. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's, do, let's do that. And toughness is 627, 630 if I go in speed. Okay. No. So those are six tokens. I can already confirm that. And then we'll go with three in speed, 210, 209. 360, yeah, let's do that then. Boom, confirm that, thank you very much. Hope, I hope I've done the, the good uh, the good choice there. Hopefully I've made a good choice. So the identical cards, ready to be proed. That's going to be crazy. That means, there we go, there is John Cena Pro. What an awesome start to this episode. I had no idea I was going to get my pull, and I didn't realise John Cena was actually all ready to be done. So... Let's go ahead and level him up. Um, where is he? There he is. Lock him in. Got probably have, probably have more than enough food. So there's the Dana, and we'll get into that in just a little bit. But we'll go with Cedric, Shinsuke, Shinsuke, and Braun Strowman. Yeah. Let's go with those three WrestleMania cards. That should be 55. It is brilliant. Charisma, uh, and then speed again. Pretty much. Let's just yeah. I'm pr that's pretty looks pretty good to me. Confirm. And then we want to obviously get the good picture on him. Well, it's not that that great because of the blue out the blue lining around. It. I don't love that, but the champ is here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a belt picture, and you know I I do love pictures with belts. I do I do love those pictures, even though you can't see the belt. Unless you click on the picture, but it's all right. I don't mind that. So yeah, hope we'll we'll get him. Uh, we'll get his game played in uh, in Ringdom. He should shoot up to number one. Hopefully, I'm um, pretty sure he is actually the the, the best now. Uh, John Cena. My deck is invalid. Okay, well let's figure that out really quickly. I can't believe my worst card in Ring Domination is WrestleMania 33 Pro Hall of Fame Eddie Guerrero. That is just mental. Let's swap you for you. And let's get into a game. Let's get into a game. It's full event card, pretty much, and one Hall of Fame. But yeah, really, really cool. 
let's we'll play two games of this. Um, I'll show you. Well, you know the the um, the ultimate is Dana Brooke. Well, if you didn't, now you know. You saw uh, in my catalog. So that is new card. That is new catalog. Never got an ultimate Dana before. So that's pretty cool. The WrestleMania is also a card I've never gotten because it's not the female, and it's none of the females I've already got. So that is a relief. And it is, well, actually, I'm pretty sure you would have seen by now who it is, but after this game, you guys will be able to see who it is. Okay, let's see what this guy's going to do. Um, you do that, I'll do that. Should be able to win this game. Yeah, yeah, we got this in the bag, unless he challenges me. Now we're good. Okay. Brilliant. Let's see. Let's get some picks. Hopefully we can get an early pull. Imagine if we got another pull. So it is Mickey James. There you guys can see. Uh, you might have seen it before, before we got into the game. But yeah, pretty cool. Uh, she's one of the worst. But what is she? But she's not. She's not one of the best, at least. But actually, I think she's quite like near the middle. Uh, it's a single. Even if I get a provert, won't make my deck. I don't think. Um, but yeah, not not too bad. Quite yeah, quite just quite happy. It's. All catalog really. It feels nice to know. Like the ultimate was awesome to get because I never got uh, Dana Brooke before. That's catalog. Mickey James as well. And then Mae Young. That's pretty cool. If only Mae Young could have a better picture on her card, that would have been a lot better. But can't argue too much. It's pretty cool that they're giving us a two uh, two event females. They gave us the Bailey, obviously. Let's get that John Cena in the middle. Bit risky, obviously, because this is. This is the technique I use for trading up cards, but it's cards that you're sure that are gonna are gonna lose every time. This John Cena, you never know. Um, cause ultimately, I kind of want. There we go. He's hopefully, hopefully he wins this uh, Samojo, which he's going to, and then I can hopefully challenge the John Cena again and win. So it's very risky. Uh, if if it works out, then it's very lucky. I would need a proc in. Um, give me one sec, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Very. <laughs> that was quite funny. Now my mum just walked in. Literally, dinner's ready. So yeah, <laughs> if you guys overheard that. Um, so we actually failed with the John Cena, which means we'll lose the game. But overall, it's not that bad because we are going to get the game straight with John Cena. But if I keep losing, then I probably won't do this technique on training him here because it's not that important. I get him done now. I just obviously want to win my ringdom games. So. We might just abandon having John Cena in the middle and keep targeting him. Just try and get the games over and done with quicker. There's definitely a better technique than what I did there. So hopefully we can get that done. Uh, let's see if we can get a shard on Mickey James. And uh, we'll end the video there, guys. Quite a short video again today. But pro John Cena. Played a couple uh, couple games of ring domination. And also, Battleground. It's very close. I don't want to lose another Battleground. At least we can get 10k um, points. That is the goal. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Tomorrow I'm off. Saturday off. A complete free day, which means I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. So if you guys want to check those streams, hit that little notification on the channel because I will be doing it on YouTube. Check me out on Twitter for all those amazing, amazing tweets I tweet out. <clears throat> I don't tweet much. But no, I am, I, I, yeah, hit me up on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Peace out. Awful, awful outro. Peace.